hair placer, how would you like to reduce the chances that your loved one with dementia gets angry? That'd be pretty great, right? I'm going to share with you a simple tip. And before I do, I want you to know that immediately your brain will freak out and say, yeah, but how? But what about in this situation? But I don't think that will work. Let it freak out. That's okay. But hear me out and stick with this. I'm going to give you an assignment at the end of this video to help. I was recently talking to one of my friends and I did a reel on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I do little tidbit videos, usually 60 seconds or less. And in this video, I had asked my friend, how she responded to her grandma who kept asking to go home. And she gave the most lovely response. And she said it so quickly that I think it would be easy for most people to gloss over it. And I want to highlight it here because the way they responded to her grandma wanting to go home was exactly the thing that prevented her grandma from getting angry. And you can apply this to your situation as well. Okay, so here was what she told me. She said her grandmother, who didn't have an official diagnosis of dementia, but she thought her grandma had dementia because she did some behaviors like asking to go home when she was already home. What they did is first she said, well, we just let my grandma talk about home. And then we would sometimes pack up her knickknacks and like help her pack to go home. And I thought that was lovely because what she did is she didn't try to tell her grandmother, you're already home. This is where you live, which would have just made her grandmother more upset. She moved toward taking action that in her grandmother's mind would seem like they are moving together with the same goal towards the end of getting her to go home. My friend, she took action that her grandmother would interpret as them being on the same page. And so that's the tip I have for you. What action could you take that would show the person with dementia, you are moving in the same direction. Obviously, her grandmother didn't go anywhere. Her grandmother stayed in the house. That is what happened. But simply by taking the step toward something that the grandmother perceived as them being on the same page allowed her grandmother to calm down and to get into a place where she felt better. So often when the person with dementia says something that's not true or something that's impossible to happen, we can't make it happen, we immediately want to redirect them or change the subject or tell them why it can't happen. And a lot of times they interpret that as you not being on the same page, you not listening to them, you not understanding them, and it makes them more upset and angry. You don't have to go through with the thing they want you to go through with. But what would be a step, an inch, a move in the direction that would make them feel like you were listening? I want you to think right now, what is a situation that often makes your loved one upset or in distress? And then based on in their viewpoint, from their perspective, what would be one step that is safe and reasonable and doable for you to take to see if that would help prevent it from escalating and help calm the situation? Now, if you are in my care course, bring this to a live Q&A, let's discuss it, or bring it to one of the support rooms and talk about it with the other members in there. Let's see what you come up with. Care Blazer, real quick. If this channel has helped you in any way on your caregiving journey, would you let another caregiver know about it? It's the only way this channel grows, which ultimately means that other caregivers out there in the world currently searching for information and help on their caregiving journey will have a better chance of finding this channel. It really means the world. Thank you. If you are not inside of the care course or you don't have a group of people that you can talk to about this type of stuff, I am really encouraging you after this video, set a timer for five minutes. Know your brain is going to say, but I can't figure it out. What's going on? It's okay. Five minutes, pen to paper. What are some of your ideas? So if your loved one, for instance, wanted to go on a ride all hours of the night, but you couldn't take them on a ride, what would be one step closer in the right direction? Ask yourself the question. I know so many of you ask me questions and I see all the comments. It's impossible for me to respond to all of them. I want to train you to respond to some of them. So could you say, oh, let me find the car keys. Oh, okay, let's make a cup of tea first. I'm really thirsty and then we'll get going. Oh, okay, let's see. Let's get your jacket on. What is a step that could move them in the right direction? 
move them to feeling like you are listening, feeling like you understand where they're coming from, but doesn't actually go through with it. You can look for the moments of redirection After you've taken that step, redirection is still beautiful. It's still a key. It's still something to be done. We just often do it too quickly. And the person with dementia perceives that as you just trying to distract them and move on to a different subject, which I know we are trying to do, but we also need to let them know we hear them. What is one tiny step? I would love it. If you left your one tiny step in the comments below to give other care blazers ideas about what possible steps are. Again, you want to make sure that it's safe and something you can do and share it with other people. That would be amazing. If you aren't in the care course and you would like to join the care course so you can ask me some of those questions and get ongoing feedback, there's a link in the description below the video. You can sign up to watch a free training. And at the end of that free training, I will explain more about the care course and whether or not you would be a good fit. All right. I'm sending you so much love. Also, Nico gets a belly rub for every person who subscribes from this video. So if you haven't already, click the red subscribe button. It's totally free. And Nico says, thank you very much.